Hiya, yeah, um, here we are. So we're at, uh, uh, just up the road from a CRL and tuning and Land Rover specialist. Uh, lucky enough to be able to utilise their ramp for the Land Rover um, treatment. So this is my uh, Discovery 4, uh, new to me uh, 15, uh, 14 months ago. Uh, we treated it um, December, just the very early part of December. So it's now a year on. Uh, so we, as, uh, as I've already said earlier, we've uh, I've jet washed and cleaned it uh, yesterday and now we're going to put it up on the ramp and have a good old look at it and um, give it a second uh, uh, top-up coating. So uh, here we go. Okay, so we're up on the ramps, which is great. Um, I'm really chuffed with what I see. You'll see on this one, you can see there the protection is afforded still so why would I want to remove that so if I just scratch deeply into that you can see that that is well on beard so I don't want to remove that I've been able to inspect all the areas and I'm just gonna give it a coat on old coat so second coat on the first coat no more preparation required and of course I'm afforded in effect a, a deeper protection because the first coat is still actually working I did notice that um, I missed a bit which is a bummer last time. Uh, and I think um, I'll probably find a few more bits I've missed over the course of doing this. Uh, somehow I missed this. And um, that's another great, that's a great reason to, to do this yearly, without a doubt. Just, just to make sure you're keeping on top of it and inspecting it. So anyway, I'm gonna get on with the damage. So um, my next job is just gonna be where have I found out is rust prone areas within the Land Rover Discovery 4 chassis, which I didn't really know before. And by doing that first year uh, of, of grease where we know to use the concentrate motor grease before we spray, but then some areas maybe not, we just spray everything. We can see any areas that do uh, become uh, slightly orange with, with the rust or something, and then use the grease on there before we spray overall. So basically, you, you get to learn where your rust prone areas are once you do it yearly. Anyway, an example of, of the moto grease was uh, up in here. We we, um, we treated this because that that was a, a, a rust prone area, and you can see it's, it's perfectly good, really good. I'm really happy with that. So I'm going to go around and find any more spaces and places I think is going to be prone to rust uh, this whole next year and give them a coat of thin, warmed up, thinned down moto grease and, uh, and then I'll be on to just spraying the whole lot and dropping the ramp down. Uh, so yeah, I've just, um, just warmed the grease up. Um, I use the microwave for this, but if you haven't got one, hot water, etc. Uh, you know, boiling in pan hot water or hand hot water and let it just sit there for a few minutes. But it's great once it's um, you know, once it's all thin. So then I'm gonna go hunting for my rust prone areas, which as we said earlier, um, we found a few. Um, I'm gonna go and go and um, treat some of those areas again, like up in here that we did before. Um, it's because we found that to be a rust prone area. So this is what we're gonna do beforehand. And then weld seams, that's the other area that we know. Um, but we've all, we know we've already done here, so once we've done that like last time, I, I don't need to do that really. I'll just show you those weld seams um, here as well. That's a weld seam, so anywhere. Um, we could do that, because clearly, as we know, I don't know why, I missed that bit, so I'm gonna get it. It ain't gonna happen to me again. I'm gonna get that with the grease. Um, so anyway, I'm gonna go around the whole vehicle, find all the rust prone areas, and then I'm gonna spray it. Uh, so here's an example, you know, this is an exit hole. Um, these are weld seams, but you can see that was done uh, last year and it's well on there. But I mean, you know, why not? I've got the brush with hot stuff and why not? But you don't need to do them every year. You could do them every other year and you just spray over the top up. Okay, so I've done all the rust prone areas with the, uh, with the moto grease, my friend here, the uh, concentrate. Um, I'm now just onto the spray. So I'm um, gonna get my little mask there as well. I'm gonna feed that in there. And uh, screw my lid on. So, 
and uh, remembering to open the nozzle of course. There she comes. So we're ready to spray. So we'll get over there and start spraying. Okay, um, I've got some goggles on because we're obviously up and under and the spray falls down. I don't want it on my face and a little mask as well. But I'm basically just going to be spraying everything now. Okay, so um, just showing you the two liter sprayer, so just for the purpose of the video, and then I'll get on and do it anyway. This is the wide angle, low flow rate nozzle. So if you see here, for example, you'll see how well that sprays out and covers a huge area very, very quickly. Um, it's hard to show you. I'll show you here. So yeah, that's the two litre pressure sprayer with the low flow nozzle. And I'll show the injector in a second as well. So we've now got an injector one. And I'm gonna go and do a bit of injecting. Okay, so I've done uh, all of the, the greasing on the rust prone areas. I've done the injecting and the wide area spraying and the heavy and the large areas. And now I'm going to finish it all off with the hand spray because that's kind of just what you have to do to the areas like this where you simply can't reach with any other tool. This is such a great tool for it. Okay. So that's uh, Land Rover Disco 4 done for year two top up. Really pleased with that. It's taken me um, about 35 minutes, something like that. Um, I'm going to go around and just check I haven't missed anything, but that's it really. I'll just sort of show you quickly underneath and get it off of the ramp. Leave it here for a while. There we are. Very pleased with it. Thanks guys. See you later. Bye.